My name is Judith Ender and I'm from Hungary. Hi everybody. I was here first time in 1999, a long time ago. And I get here as like a student uh, to my university and my primary goal on that time was to be able to learn English primarily like the language and to be able to familiarize myself, you know, what kind of techniques is the agricultural industry using over here in the States. And before I went back home, I got offered a job and I took an advantage of it and I came back on the beginning of uh, the 2000 and I'm here since then. When I first started working here, the farm was much smaller and I thought it was very interesting because it did have like a very unique concept. I never seen micros before and it gave me the opportunity to be able to learn a lot. I learned a lot about like new and exciting varieties of vegetables, you know, like different varieties of Asian micros like Mizuna, like other things like Arugula. And, and it was very interesting for me. It was very challenging to be able to learn and understand and grow a little bit of knowledge. You notice back behind me, Judith? Judith is actually in charge of this entire greenhouse complex. If you've been to the farm, you know Judith. Judith, Judith is actually harvesting. You can see we're actually harvesting with scissors, literally to order. Judith, what are you harvesting today? Oh, I'm harvesting a lot of gorgeous, gorgeous product today. Come right up and show us what you've got. By working at the chef's garden is completely different than like what you ever experienced or what I ever could have experienced in any, in any other place. It is unique because we are always looking for new and exciting items. There's always new techniques. We are challenged by the resources we can use because we adopt and we accommodate sustainable agriculture. And you know, that is not really something what you could learn in the school. You need to go and have the experience. You need to be able to understand what the plants needs and try to accommodate those needs with the resources, whatever we can apply to them. Own flowers. Can I just show it? Borage, and we do have two colors. We do have blue and we do have white. We have lots of unique colors in the houses. Very nice pink and blue pansies. Those are kind of like a new addition for our assortments. We also do have very, very nice borage, as I mentioned earlier. Lots of other beautiful flowers that you can look behind me. Those are what we do call for open snapdragons. We do have an assortment of colors, plenty of johnnies, plenty of violas. They're looking absolutely excellent. And hopefully we're gonna have an abundant supply from the nasturtium also. But don't forget about the herbs. We do have plenty, plenty of demi-size and full-size mints. They do look absolutely fabulous. If you're looking for the flowering mints, we do have a very nice flowering mint sampler and the flowering herb sampler, which is quite unique for us to be able to grow those kind of flowering items in February. So I'm very excited about those guys also. Or we do have plenty of nepatilla if you're looking for higher quantity. We also do have plenty of sages, especially the purple, the tricolor, and the golden one. They do look absolutely excellent. And when you do look behind me, that's kind of like nice pink and purple stuff. That is actually what we do call for flaming shishu. I think those are going to be new and hit upcoming item in the springtime also. Physically, no. Emotionally, yes. All the time. Ah, uh, what can I say about it? I just, I just enjoy so much to be able to look at the plants and it's just like other people. They just kind of like voiceless, but they, I truly believe they do definitely talk to you. You know, and you just need to go and look at them and you just need to listen to them. They're gonna tell you what do they need. You just need to understand it.